Hello, Neil here. As we embark on this brand new motorsport series, I thought I'd try and explain the format of Pure ETCR to you in very simple terms. Now, first up, headline news, the world's most powerful touring cars ever built, the world's first multi-brand all-electric touring car series, Pure ETCR is an FIA international series for 2021, and from next year, 2022, will be an FIA World Cup. So, 2021, five events, Italy, Spain, Denmark, Hungary, South Korea. Three teams, Cupra, Hyundai, Romeo, Ferraris, and 12 drivers. Those 12 drivers are divided into two pools at the draw on Friday night. Now we can talk about the draw another time, but basically it decides the pools and the starting positions for the first round of battles. Now, think of the two pools as having two entirely separate race weekends. At no point during the weekend will the drivers in pool A race against the drivers in pool B. In fact, whatever happens, barring disaster, all six drivers that start their pool on Saturday morning will race against each other on Sunday afternoon in their super final. So let's go through the four rounds that make up a pure ETCR race weekend. In your pool, round one, Saturday morning, two battles of three cars. Three cars line up alongside each other at the impressive electrified starting gate. 300 kilowatts with power-ups available, battle one, three cars, battle two, the other three cars. Championship points are awarded according to the results of each battle. 15 points for first, 10 for second, four for third. Then the next battle for that pool will be round two, Saturday afternoon. Round two is three battles of two cars each, so kind of the opposite way round to round one. Another difference, 450 kilowatts with no power-ups. Battle one, round one winners go head to head. Battle two, round one second place go head to head. Battle three, round one third place go head to head. You get the idea. Again, round two uses the start gate. 12 points for the winner, six points for the loser in each battle. And again, that's championship points. So that brings us to the end of Saturday. Uh, and to recap, we've had round one and round two, all battles. And by this stage, championship points have already been awarded with a potential maximum score of 27 on the day. And don't forget, all the rounds have been exactly the same for the other pool of six drivers. Now, Sunday morning, round three, no more battles. This is a time trial. One car at a time, full 500 kilowatts power from a standing start at the start gate. And the running order is based on the results of round two. So battle one winner goes first, battle two winner goes second, etc, etc, etc. No points at this stage. In fact, the whole point of round three is that the individual times set the starting positions for the super final, which is round four. And round four, the super final, is the culmination of the whole weekend. Position one, pole position, will be the fastest time from round three. Position six will be the slowest time from round three. And yes, it is a grid. All six drivers of the pool line up in staggered rows and we're not using the start gate this time. And the final is 300 kilowatts with power-ups. At this point, there's still a chance for any of the six drivers to win the whole event as there are big championship points available in the final. 50, 42, 35, 27, 20, and 15. So based on your randomized draw position for round one, good results in rounds one, two, and three can put you in a good position both grid-wise and points-wise for your super final. And that's it. The winner of the event, the king or queen of the weekend, is the driver who accumulated the most points once both pools finals have finished. If there's a score draw, the driver with the most first places across the battles is the winner. And if that's still a tie, then it's the quickest time in the time trial. Okay, understood? So let's see if I can recap Pure ETCR race format in 30 seconds. Round one is two three-car battles, 300 kilowatts with power-ups. That gives you points and decides the positions for round two. Now round two are two-car battles, three of those, 450 kilowatts with no power-up. Once again, points are rewarded and it decides the order for round three. Now round three, no battles, time trials, single lap, solo shootout, full 500 kilowatts power off the start gates. No points for round three, but it decides the grid. Yes, the grid for round four, which is the super final, where all six cars race together for the first time, 300 kilowatts with power-ups for big points to decide the winner of the event. So that is the format for one pool. 
The other pool is exactly the same. Pool A alternates with pool B, round one for each, then round two for each. Now if it helps you to understand why pool A and pool B are completely separate timelines, it's because for 2021, the drivers in pool A are sharing the same cars as the drivers in pool B. There are only actually six cars, two each fielded by the three teams. So if you think about it, if J.K. Vernet is in the Hyundai Velosta NETCR, then he's sharing that car in Pool B with Tom Chilton, for example, or the same with Matthias Ekstrom and Jordi Genet in the Cooper E-Racer, or Luca Filippi and Oliver Webb in the Romeo Ferraris Giulia ETCR. And that's all depending how the draw shakes them down. And the battery charging and the re-prep between each round is critical, and that's why each round is spread out with time in between. Now the length of each race, time, distance, number of laps, will vary event to event, uh, depending on the, the circuit specification. And please bear in mind that all of this is based on now and how things will run in Vallelunga. So if it changes, don't shoot the messenger. But that is it. Hopefully, now it should make sense. It's very exciting to be part of this brand new format. Uh, any questions or comments, please ask below, and I'll definitely do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you.